So this question is a diagram question. Really, any question that provides any visual input, I'm going to call a diagram question. Obviously, in this case, more specifically, we have a table provided. So anytime I have a diagram, I like to pay attention to what's in that diagram. First of all, make sure I understand what's there, and then I read the actual question. So this diagram is all about ice cream and toppings or topping selections. Looks like we have two different types of toppings, which are hot fudge and caramel. And then we have two flavors of ice cream, which are vanilla and chocolate. And then we have some values, right? So this number eight, for instance, would represent that there are eight, maybe people, um, who choose vanilla flavored ice cream with hot fudge topping versus this six here will represent that there are six people um, who choose chocolate flavored ice cream with caramel topping. So doing that allows me to really truly believe that I fully understand the table and how it's set up. Now I move on to reading the question. So the question says the table above shows the flavors of ice cream and the toppings chosen by the people at the party. Each person chose one flavor of ice cream and one topping. Of the people who chose vanilla ice cream, so how many people chose vanilla ice cream? So it looks like you know, we have the eight here, but we also have five there. So there were 13 for vanilla, right? So of the people who chose vanilla ice cream, what fraction chose hot fudge as a topping? Well, the hot fudge topping people were eight, right? So they were, so eight is the hot fudge. So it does say what fraction, right? So what fraction of those? So what fraction of what? The fraction of the people who chose vanilla, right? So we have hot fudge over vanilla, basically, is a fraction we're looking for. And we have, um, in fact, this is vanilla plus hot fudge all over just vanilla. So we would have 8 over 13. And therefore, our correct answer here is choice D.